Andrew here from Ventura Music School, and here's a video tutorial on the great classic Rolling Stones song, Ruby Tuesday. So that was the beginning of the chord progression, and let's just dive right in. So we're starting out with an A minor chord. We're going to hit the fifth string bass note and then strum. Then we're going to do an A minor slash G chord, and the way to do that is to keep that regular A minor chord and then just reach the pinky up to the 6th string 3rd fret. We're going to hit that bass note and once again strum. And then we are going to an F bar chord. And so that we're barring all 6 strings with the 1st finger. And then we are putting the middle finger on the 3rd string. I'm counting the strings from the floor, 3rd string, 2nd fret, ring finger on the 5th string, 3rd fret, and pinky on the 4th string, 3rd fret, that's our F. Then we have a regular G chord. So, so far we have A minor, A minor slash G, F, and a regular G. And then we've got this really cool end tag. And what I'm doing there, okay, I'm, I'm, make, I'm putting down a regular C chord. I'm adding the pinky on the 4th string, 3rd fret. That's going to make our C sus4. And then when I play this, I'm really going to hit the 5th and the 4th string and maybe a bit of the 3rd string. Play that one time, then I take the pinky off for a regular C chord. Then I'm going to take my middle finger off to make it C suspended 2nd and then back to the C sus4 and the C. So all together that's So we've got she would never say where she came from. The second line we have largely the same thing, A minor, A minor slash G, F. Now we're going to go to C. And here's another, so the end tag on this line, we're going to, we've got that C chord, we're going to keep that down except we're going to take the ring finger off and put that ring finger up on the sixth string and the pinky on the first string. Now we have an unusual combination between a G chord and a C chord. We've got elements of both of those chords, so we're going to play that. And then we take the two C chord fingers off. Put them back on. Next line we have A minor, D7. We've got our A minor there, so we'll, to make the D7, we'll just leave that finger down, the first finger, add the middle finger on the third string, second fret, and the ring finger on the first string, second fret, D7, Sun is, and then G. While the sun is bright. Same thing for the next line. Darkest night, no one see knows. She comes in, and then we've got that C down. We're gonna do the same thing where we put the G chord down with the C chord. And then we're into the chorus, which is just C G C. G and C, C, G, C. Who could hang a name on you? We've got C, G, B flat, F. When you change with every new day. And what that is, okay, C and G, and then the B flat is going to be our first finger on the fifth string, first fret, and then we need to bar second, third, and fourth strings at the third fret. 
Most people do that with the ring finger. We lay the ring finger on those and press those down. I personally use my pinky and you can you can experiment and see which works best for you. And with this, we're really only hitting like the, the fifth and the fourth and maybe the third string. And then we go back to that F chord that we had before and we're only hitting the top few strings of that chord as well. G, C, G. Still, I'm gonna miss you. Just such a great song. That's basically the whole thing. And then after that, we have another verse with the same chord progression. Enjoy, and I'll see you soon.